Hi guys! So I wanted to vlog um, this little construction that Anthony and I have been doing for a good part of our day today. Uh, <laughs> what do you mean? You um, I've been helping. Thank you very much. So uh, we recently moved into our first house back in June. June. And um, it's been a while since we've really done any construction on it, but um, we decided that we wanted to tackle the garage. So um, before we did anything, our garage didn't have any insulation in it. And so now that it's getting colder outside, the warm air wasn't staying in. And so Anthony was like, let's go to Lowe's and get some insulation and put it up. So let me show you what the house, what the garage looked like before, and then I'll show the after. I can assist with that. So it's a little dark. Anthony's gonna go get a light. But basically, the whole garage looked like this, which is just like wood, and I don't know what that black stuff is. Uh, shoot, particle board. It's some old insulation that they used to use back in the day to build houses. This house is like 40 years old, so whatever they used back then. Get what it's called exactly. Yeah, this house was born in like the 70s. The whole garage looked like this. Black and then just like wood and um, kind of gross and ugly. And I'll, actually this used to look like um, shelving. And so we had a lot of our stuff which is now over there. Um, but they were on these shelves. And Anthony decided that he wanted to take all the shelves down and he's going to make it look a lot nicer and maybe put some cabinets in, right? Eventually, yes. Yeah. So this is what it looked like before and this was our whole garage and this is what we've been up to since then is we've been putting in insulation. You can see it's all, it goes all the way down there, it's all the way up here and this whole wall we have insulated which has been a big effort. Again this wall looked exactly like how that looks right there. So we were able, Anthony mostly did it. I got the insulation, but yes. This is very helpful. Yes, and so this whole wall, and then again, we've done it up above the garage doors, and then we're gonna do this wall too. We're just, Anthony's getting rid of the shelving, shelving first so that we can get behind it. Um, so you can see our garage is looking a little mess. Um, we've got the insulation down here on the ground. We took this, what did you call this, lattice, off. This used to be on the wall over there. There used to be a ton of hooks over there, huge hooks. Anthony had to, like, what, like, hit him with a hammer, oh, like, crowbar. crowbar. He's been using the crowbar a lot. Um, so that was really annoying to have to deal with. But, yes, our insulation is down here. Um, and then all of our stuff, which used to be up on the shelves, some of our shelves are still up. Um, is over here when we're just gonna have to leave it right there until we put up new shelves, right? Yep. Anthony also wants to get rid of this tool bench over here. This came with the house and it's cute, but it's small and it doesn't look all that appealing, I don't think. Um, and you can see at the bottom, it's like bowing and the person before was like using boards to like lift it up. Um, so it just wasn't... It just doesn't look that great. But right now that's our little tool bench and we, we've been keeping all of our tools right there. So the other thing that we don't know what we wanna do is the whole ceiling is drywall. Yeah. Yeah, so the whole ceiling is drywall. You can tell cause it's like brown and then it's got like those white dots. And that's the whole ceiling. You see it's all the way over there, all the way over here. And so I guess we're just trying to figure out like, do we wanna leave it like that or change it or what? And then the other problem that we have is there's a huge hole in the ceiling. And so we definitely need to fix that. I think when we did our walk through the house, the inspector was telling us that was a fire hazard. <laughs> so <laughs> everything's, a fire hazard. everything's fire hazard. So, hmm? Except for the sinks, they have water. That's right. I mean, like, this could use new paint, honestly. It just looks so dirty. It's hard to tell. Maybe you can tell, like, right here, but this is so dirty. And this shelving little right here, this used to be in um, right inside the door in a closet, and we took that out. So 
We've been making changes here and there. This is like our big, first big house renovation. And so we're feeling pretty good about ourselves. I know um, An Anthony says insulation isn't that special, isn't that hard, no, but, not at all. but I feel <laughs> like, um, I feel like it's a good deed that we just did. And I feel really proud of ourselves. The first step at least. Yeah. So I don't know, like, do you think we'll leave this how it is, or do we put stuff over it, or? Uh, it's a garage, honestly. We could put drywall in there and make it look nicer, but it's not going to increase the value of the house all that much, because nobody really cares about a garage unless you're building stuff on it. This, we're not going to build stuff in this garage. We'll probably have a shed out back that I'll eventually build. Yeah. We'll keep more tools and stuff like that, but for the most part, this will probably stay like it is. We'll fix that. Um, our closet actually comes into here we're going to redo our closet so that our bathroom is extended and our closets may be a little bit smaller but what's really nice is since it's in the garage it has easy access to the ceiling obviously mm -hmm. and so i don't really mind tearing down this drywall because we need to repair that hole over there anyway so we can actually run water lines out here and actually one of the first steps to do that is to insulate your garage so that your water lines don't freeze in the winter which here we are. Mm, I didn't even know that. Yep, that's the first step because if those break, <laughs> it's a pain in the ass. <sighs> yeah, so um, I did a house tour video a while ago. You guys can go back in my previous videos and view it. But if you remember, our master bathroom is super, super tiny. It's so tiny and we have a really, really big walk-in closet and a vanity right outside the bathroom as well. And so we were kind of thinking of just taking that vanity out since we don't use it all that much. I, I mean, I put all my makeup on it, but it's not like I, I don't sit at it. I like the big mirror, though, um, but I can always go and do that somewhere else. Oh, we'll have a big mirror. Yeah, and so we want to, like, uh, take all that out. Would we make the closet smaller, too, are you thinking? We'd probably make the closet a little bit smaller, eat into that a little bit so that we can... <laughs> you can hear Felix. He wants to be here, too. <laughs> we'll eat into our closet a little bit to make our bathroom bigger. Um... I'm not sure exactly what we're going to do right as of now, but I mean, just having a shower and a, a toilet and a sink in there, I mean, it's a, technically a full bath, but it's really not that great of a master bath. And honestly, for us, where our um, bed is compared to where the guest bath is, is actually a lot closer than what our master mm -hmm. bath is. And because our master bath is not only smaller, but further away, we never use it. In yeah. fact, I'm the only one that uses Shannon doesn't even bathe yeah. in it. Anyway. Yeah, I use the um, other one because the shower is much bigger in the guest bathroom. So I'm really hoping if we can make that bathroom bigger, then we can get a bigger shower. Um, maybe a bath, another bathtub or maybe not. Well, but probably. I'm hoping that we can make it large enough to where we can have a separate shower unit from a bathtub unit. Yeah, that'd be really nice just because, you know, with the baby coming, we're going to need to bathe it. So obviously we could do it in the guest, but like if we're having guests over, it'd be nice. We could just do it in our master bathroom. That'd be nice, but I don't know how, how I, long I, it's yeah, going to take Yeah, I don't know us. how much work that is or if we would even have space for that. <laughs> it'd be a good couple. Man, I'm not very experienced at all. I mean, I've done a couple <laughs> of renovations on my parents' house and I helped them build their current house, but... You know, that was mostly my dad saying, tear this down, build this up, put insulation up, yeah, which is why I know how to do it. And um, we yeah. need, we basically, we need Anthony's dad to come and help. <laughs> which he's more than willing to. He owes yes. me. <laughs> yes. And so, but really what I really want to do is take out that ugly carpet in the family room, which I can show you guys after this. That's I just, I hate it. And I want wood floor. And I want new wood floor, and I really like new wood floor throughout the kitchen, too. I know Anthony doesn't really care for that kitchen floor. No, right? it, it's okay. But the problem with that is, is everything's connected. And she'll show you later, but basically, if we fix one room, we're going to mm -hmm. have to fix the other room. And if we're fixing the other room, then we're going to have to tear out these cabinets. And if we're going to tear out the cabinets, might as well just knock down <laughs> the wall. So it's going to turn into like, oh, hey, we want to replace the floor. <laughs> All right, our entire first floor is now renovated <laughs> three to years later. <laughs> right, and I know it'll take a while, and it makes me a little nervous with a baby coming, you know. I mean, in the beginning, it'll be okay, but once it starts crawling and getting mobile, if we're doing construction, how's that going to work, you know? Block it so, off upstairs while we're doing stuff downstairs. Yeah. 
Yeah. So those are all just things that we've, I mean, we have a huge list. I can show you guys. It's up on our fridge of things that we want to do eventually to this house. We just have a million things that we want to do on this house. And that's kind of why we bought a house like this is so it was a little bit of a fixer upper. We knew it was an older house and so it would need some new upgrades. We looked at some houses that um, <clears throat> were nicer and newer and didn't really need anything. And we kind of passed on those to get something like this, so oh, we, we didn't could. Really pass on them. We bid on them. Well, and just lost. well, <laughs> I think it just worked out that way that we got a house like this, and so Anthony is learning new things. Anthony's teaching me new things because I have never worked on a house before. Yeah, what's nice about homes like this is it's in a great location, so it's going to retain its value. And the more work that you put into it, you put what's called sweat equity into it which is basically you put work into the house and then the house price goes up. Right. So that's my hope for this is we make a nicer house, we live in a nicer house, and then when we go to sell it, we sell it for much more than what we bought it for. Right. And we don't know how long we're going to live in this house. Um, Anthony could get a new job and we could have to move to another state, another city, or, you know, maybe, you know, we just get tired of this house and we want to move. So we'll just do what we can while we're here and... You know, figure it out later. We'll just, yeah, whatever we don't get done, it's not our problem anymore once we sell it. <laughs> but yeah, we just wanted to show you guys this update. I just think this looks so much nicer. <clears throat> Anthony says it's going to get so much more warmer. It does feel warmer in here. It's kind of hard when you first come in from the house just because the house is heated and so much warmer. But um, it's looking so much nicer. He even got up here in the little cracks and. You know, this one, <clears throat> this is hard to tell, but these were like two really, really thin pieces that he had to do. Um, yeah, once we fix the ceiling, eventually we're going to do blown insulation up there, which will again help the R value, which little do you know, R value, if you look right here, R13, that's your... Um, oh, we got the R13. It's basically an insulation grade. R13 is pretty low comparatively, but we have two by fours in our walls because this is a really old building. Now they tend to go with four by sixes, I think it is. Again, don't quote me on this. I've done this maybe <laughs> one other time. <laughs> this is just but, what we're thinking. Yeah, R13 is pretty good for a garage as mm -hmm. far as things go. Yeah, and like we said, um, you know, when we go to sell it, a lot of people aren't going to be looking at the garage. They're just going to want a garage to park their car in, and this is a two-car garage. So you see the one and then two garages. So um, I think they'll be happy with whatever this looks like, but anything we can do to add on to it I think is great. I definitely don't think they would like a hole in the ceiling. Well, I mean, considering this cost is maybe $300 to do mm -hmm. overall, I mean... 300 bucks, it's a pretty good investment in my... And it was nice that we could do it ourselves. We didn't have to pay anybody, so... We started this at, what, 2 o'clock today? Mm -hmm. And it's now 10 o'clock at night, so 8 hours. It's one work day, and we're pretty much done. Yeah, and that was with us having to go to Lowe's twice because we messed up the first time. Yeah, and... apparently there's different types of staple guns. <laughs> certain staple guns are only for staples for, like, putting in coax cable or wires or stuff like that. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. Found that one out the hard way. Had to go back and spend another 17 bucks to get the right staple staples and the right staple gun yeah anthony didn't really look at the thing and i didn't know that there were different ones and so thankfully we live like three minutes away from a low so we just got back in the car and went back and got more stuff and no yeah. big deal not only that but now i have a staple gun that i can use when i want to put up wire which i eventually will want to wire because a lot of our rooms don't actually have um cable outlets which is really kind of weird and i also want to run um Ethernet all the way through the house. Yeah, and because, I'd also. Well, sorry. For no, interrupting, go but ahead. Being that the house is 40 years old, go figure they didn't have coax, or, well, they had coax, but they had didn't have Ethernet back then. <laughs> so all of our rooms have phone lines, which, great. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't help. Nobody and. Uses... <laughs> dial up anymore and another thing with all of our rooms is um a lot of the rooms upstairs don't have overhead lights yeah um which is really frustrating because you have to light everything with lamps 
and it's frustrating because a lot of times you have to go and turn on each lamp individually unless it's connected to a outlet that connects to a light switch which is even more annoying because say you want to plug a tv into that right outlet. now your tv can only be on when your lights are on right so so yeah there's it's just new things we're learning as new homeowners and i think it's definitely things we'll look out for the next time we get a, ho a home um, I mean, I don't mind them. There's stuff that we can fix, and thank God we have my dad. And my dad's awesome at stuff like this. Talking to him about the cable boxes and stuff like that, he's like, "Oh yeah, that's easy." Or not cable boxes, the outlets upstairs. He's like, "That's easy." Might yeah. Have to tear it into a wall or two if you don't mind. I'm like, eh, as long as we can fix it, we're fine. Yeah. So Anthony's dad's gonna be a great resource. I'll definitely have to vlog, you know, once he comes and helps us. We just have to figure out like what our first main project is that we want him to come help. Obviously, this stuff we can take care of on our own, but stuff that Anthony's dad helps us with, we got to figure out what the first big project we want to do. I also want to put a fence in, in our backyard. Still need to get that pole digger. We got to get a pole digger and all the supplies. And I want to do something with the basement because it's so creepy and gross. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're going to make that into like a man cave slash rec room. We're going to knock out a bunch of walls. We're going to tear into everything, and then it's going to probably flood on us. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. Hopefully it doesn't do that. I'm really hoping we can put, like, carpet in down there. I just, I really don't like the flooring down there right now. We'll see. I don't like carpeting, especially since we have a cat down there, but that's true. a future discussion. That's yeah. not for you guys. Yeah, so that's understand. true. That's for Anthony and I to figure out. But anyway, we just wanted to show all our progress right here. Hope you guys are proud of us. <laughs> We're proud of ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> we are very proud of ourselves. Sorry it's so dark in here. We only have like one light. That's um, the next thing. <laughs> yeah, that's another thing we need to do. Um, but yeah, that's our little project. Make sure to like and subscribe. And yeah. make put your comments down below. What do you think we should do next? Yeah, what do you guys think we should do next? Is there anything that you guys think we should do more toward the garage? Other than obviously there is a hole in the ceiling. Um, but is there anything else you guys think we should do? We've thought about maybe either putting in new shells or putting in cabinets over there. You know, what, what have you guys done in your homes? Um, what suggestions do you have for us? Brought to you by Gaping Hole in the Wall. <laughs> yes, Gaping Hole See in the later. Wall. <laughs> okay, that's all for now. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> Watching this makes me so nervous. <laughs> this isn't even the most destructive thing I've done today. <laughs> oh, where'd my hammer go? Felix! Felix wants to be part of the vlog too. Oh, there um, you aren't there, Anthony, but my viewers know. Every time I do a, a pregnancy update video, Felix is there in the background crying. Safety first. Always wear your glasses and your respirator. Yes. Because I found out today that you should really always wear your glasses. I was working on a, a, a utility knife trying to get a piece of it in. It shattered yes. and hit me straight in the forehead. I did not have my glasses on. And you can bet your sweet ass that I put them on immediately <laughs> afterwards. Yeah, if that would have been lower and hit Anthony in the eye, I mean... It would have been bad. We might have had to go to the ER. So, yeah. we, can't, we can't afford trips to the ER right now. <laughs> well, thanks to my company, we have really good insurance, so it still would have cost us. <laughs> and sorry for the foul language. I do that when I'm working on stuff. <laughs> Kind of sad seeing that taken down. I'm sure it took somebody a while. Yeah. But I don't like it. And you know what? You have to think it's not tear, just tearing down the old, but it's building the new. Yeah, eventually we'll put something there. We just don't know what yet. That'll be up to Anthony. Insulation. That's what we'll put there next. 
Well, yeah, but over top the insulation. <laughs> FYI, cover your ears. <laughs> I was going to say, if baby was asleep, it's awake now. <laughs> So, like I was saying out in the garage, I wanted to show you guys our living room floor, and I just, I hate this carpet. It's old and gross, I know it's hard for you guys to see, but it's like very thin, it's not thick. Say hi, Thief! Um, it's very thin, it's not thick, and hair shows up so bad on it, it's just so gross. And then this is our kitchen floor, and Anthony does not like this, and I'm impartial to it. Um, what I'd really like is just gray, like a d dark gray wood flowing throughout like all of this down here. But like Anthony said, like our whole, our whole front um, floor flows. So like the, the family room into the kitchen into the dining room so if we were to start at one um room we might as well just do all the rooms so here's like from the kitchen you can see the family room and vice versa um and then something else that i want to show you guys which is like totally unrelated but i wanted to show you is i put up our christmas tree today um and so i was really excited about that this is just like a pre-lit tree eventually i want to go and get um like real trees, because I always grew up with real trees. Um, but we're not going to be in Columbus for uh, Christmas, so I wouldn't want to get a real tree and then have to water it and then it die, and I'm, I just don't have to deal with that. So I just wanted to show you guys, this is our tree. It's a six-foot tree. Um, we have a little star at the top. Um, I bought this tree uh, three or four years ago, so I've had it for a while. Um, and we have our little Cincinnati blanket at the bottom and then we just have like, you know, regular sparkly ornaments, but some of the ornaments are pretty sentimental and I really like them. So like we have our engaged ornament, so it shows, you know, when we were engaged, um, June 6, 2015, um, there's one of us getting married, it says just married on it and it has lift the veil it has um, our wedding date on it um, we have a ornament that says first Christmas as mr. and mrs. this was our first Christmas which was last year as a married couple um, I also got an ornament um, symbolizing where we went on our honeymoon so we went to Puerto Verita in Mexico on our honeymoon um, and so this um, commemorates that and then we also just have like a ton of um random little um ornaments that anthony's grandma gave me that anthony has made throughout the years so like we have like a little snowman um we have a nutcracker we have a santa um we have you know reindeer and so it's kind of a mixture of like new fancy ornaments and then um you know personalized ones and then ones from anthony's childhood so i really like our tree and i just wanted to show you guys it's nothing really special but um i'm sure next year you know we'll have a baby and it'll be a lot better um it's been a little difficult having a cat um you can see felix is back in the corner he really likes the tree Hi yeah, Felix! He really likes the tree and so I'm worried that one day I'll just come and he'll knock it down. It has not happened yet, but it could happen. Um, the big problem I'm having is we have a fireplace, but we don't have a mantle in front of the fireplace. And so there's nowhere we can hang stockings. So I told Anthony I really want to get a mantle and put that on there, but I guess it's like a big ordeal and a lot to do. So I don't know what we're going to do about that, but I really need to get more... Christmas decorations. I want to like take that off and put like a wreath on there and um, I just want to put like some holiday uh, decorations around 
to just spruce this place up. So that's our little update. I just wanted to tell you guys what I've been doing. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.